if you're looking over the fence, okay, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but not only do you have this eight foot high fence here, okay, inside the backyard, you have a fence that blocks the entire view into the garage that's probably 25 feet long and eight feet high. So whatever could have been going on inside the garage. You've got ultimate privacy here, right? Yeah. I mean, you, it doesn't get any better than this. If you're gonna, if something illegal is gonna be occurring in there, this is a perfect setup. And it's, it's a quiet residential neighborhood, but I mean, it's one gunshot is one gunshot. Every, uh, every, it's June, mm -hmm. it's hotter than the Dickens down here. Everyone's got air conditioning running, fans running, TVs running, etc. I mean, you're in a house that's well insulated. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna hear? You're not gonna hear anything. And now you've got days to, to deal with the problem you have, which is a dead body. And you've got all the privacy you could ever want. And you really, your neighbors are kind of watching the activities. We know she, what day she goes missing, right? And what day her phone Saturday, being June used. 5th. According to the neighbor Anita, Lisa's purse with her wallet and everything else was still in it, here on the countertop for weeks. I, I would bet every penny I have which isn't substantial, on her being dead. There's just no doubt in my mind she's dead. She would have surfaced by now if she wasn't. She wouldn't have walked away from her friends. She wouldn't have walked away from her home. I mean, she had no reason to, she had no plans to. Yeah, there was the nothing person, in her life that was causing her to do that. Yeah, but the one person who's walked away is the partner and roommate. That's right. And what did she do when she walked away? She gave away stuff that maybe had a lot of evidence on it. A, a lot of stuff come out of this house and we've seen photographs of it, the Dallas Police Department should have been rolling up in here and putting all that stuff in an evidence room somewhere for safekeeping.